Hi everyone, I'm Phil Crifo, Game Director on Chia. Let me show you some of the really cool locomotion abilities and traversal options that we built to make exploring the world of Chia fun and rewarding. This is a game about exploration, so it was super important for us that moving around was intuitive, responsive, but also deep enough to stay engaging throughout the whole game. In Chia, you are not bound to design routes and areas. You can climb any surface organically, even at weird angles, and carve your own path through the islands. You can use the terrain's verticality to your advantage by sliding down slopes and use your glider to cover long distances and break your falls. Well, sometimes. Taking hits and performing intense activities will drain your stamina, but you can upgrade it by finding magical fruits around the archipelago. All foliage in the game is physics-based. Swaying on trees and catapulting yourself through the air is an efficient way to cover long distances. In Chia, you'll spend a lot of time in the air, so why not add a bit of style to it? You can do spins and flips, and even dives, if you're precise enough. We wanted to emulate the excitement of getting lost into a rich, unknown world. This is why we designed our map system without a player marker. We think this encourages observation and exploration, and makes finding your way around the archipelago much more rewarding. Chia can help you by guessing her general location, and using orientation signs will narrow down your position, forcing you to explore and interact with the world around you. To cover greater distances across the archipelago, you can use your trusty boat. It is easy to sail but still requires you to be active as you need to manage both your sail and steering paddle. And while exploring, you will also find docks that unlock fast travel destinations to let you get around the world faster. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Crifo, Game Director on Chia. Let's dive into one of the game's most unique mechanics, Chia's soul jumping ability that allows you to take control of any object or animal in the game world. Early in the game, Chia discovers that she has unique soul jumping powers. Her left eye starts glowing and she is able to warp into nearby objects and animals. Some objects have different characteristics. For example, explosives can be super useful during combat especially when used alongside Soul Throwing, a mechanic that lets you aim and shoot an object towards the target while regaining control of Chia on the spot. It's up to you to be creative and discover fun ways to use objects. Soul jumping into animals is also super powerful. Most of them have unique abilities that can help you with traversal, exploration, or are just great fun. Using your soul jumping abilities will deplete Chia's soul meter, and more intense activities will drain it faster. You can upgrade it permanently by consuming super rare fruits that will add a slot to your soul meter, and doing so, as well as progressing through the story, will unlock the full potential of Chia's soul jumping powers.